All right, we got freshman guard Brian Heath. Uh, Brian, the big three at the top of the key to put you guys up in these five or some other time. Just talk about that play assist from Kyle on it. Yeah, uh, coach was. He's been telling me for the past, I don't know how long, shoot with confidence because I haven't been, been shooting very well. And I think that was my mentality today is just shoot with confidence, you're going to fall. And the, that one I shot with confidence and put it in, Kyle made a good pass. I mean, tell us how we want to do it. Uh, just what's kind of the mood of the group, the team coming into this weekend, just given the last uh, two loss, tough losses and kind of carrying the momentum from the second half of the Grand Valley game into tonight? Uh, we know we need to win some games here to be able to make the conference tournament. So we got to go out and play. And we can't play scared or uptight. We have to go out and play and feel loose. And I think that was our mentality is just to have fun and go out and run and score some bu buckets and win. Given the troubles early on in the season you guys have had closing out, do you think without learning those lessons you guys don't win this game tonight? Yeah, certainly. I mean, every close game you, you learn something from it. And I think the past ones that we've had, the I know the first couple we didn't close out and we ended up losing them. Uh, then we, we won one, then we won a second one, and then we won this one. I mean, that you learn from the old ones and at the end, now you can, you can win those games. All right, thanks. Bring in Kyle Monroe. Uh, Kyle, right after the buzzer sound, I saw Luke Haller grab you kind of right there in celebration. What did he say to you? Oh, he just said, heck of a game, kid. I mean, out of all, everyone, like, we had just a great win tonight, and I really thought it was pretty cool that he came up, like, being our, kind of one of our senior leaders, doing that for me. That was pretty sweet. Offensively down the stretch, did you feel the need to increase your aggression and f kind of pick your spots more? Uh, I felt like I was playing pretty well shooting in the first half. Like once you kind of get a couple, you feel like you can make shots that you might not normally think about taking. So I think that just kind of feeds into it. Uh, what was just your strategy for attacking their size tonight? They threw some bigger defenders at you at times. Cooper was on you at times too tonight. Uh, I know right away I wanted to attack Cooper because he's such an offensive threat for them that we wanted him to get out as much as we could. So if we get a couple early fouls on him like we did, he had to sit most of the first half, which I think really helped us get that big lead early. Offensively, uh, just down the stretch, it seemed like each guy made plays. Obviously, you've been consistent all year, but what's it like for you to have other guys step up around you and carry the, that offensive load? It's huge for us when everyone's shooting like they're capable of. Everyone on our team, I think, is a pretty good three-point shooter, so we can really show some teams that we can play just like this any game, just as long as we're confident with our shot and knock them down. In that first half, you guys were on fire, probably one of your better halves of the season. Is that kind of the potential and ceiling of this team? Uh, I think it's a start for sure. We were shooting it almost lights out, it seemed like. Every three that we put up was going in. But I think one of the biggest things that we did well that half was our defense. We held them to 20 points, and that was with five quick ones towards the end, not a Cooper. And, I mean, anytime you hold a team like that who's one of the top scorers in the league, to 20 points and a half, you're probably thinking you're going to have a pretty good chance of winning in the end. Uh, they get half from 3, 9 to 14 in the second half. What is the mindset of the team just when you see them rallying like they did? You know that there are always going to be runs in games. That's what basketball is. You'll get, we'll go on 9 0 run, they'll get a 10 0 run. It's just you got to be able to stop them before they take the lead and you got to just cut their momentum down as soon as you can. All right, thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks.